everyone. Today I'm making a soap that I'm calling Sugar Cookie. I'm using this fragrance called Hello Sugar. And really I'm just using up some samples in a cute creative way. I'm using cocoa to make the soap brown. Now this fragrance oil it has, no, it has notes. It has vanilla in it. So the reviews have said that it will turn brown similar to my chocolate soap like this one. Now if you see on that chocolate soap, look at this one, it's more it's easier to see. It wasn't really uniform when it darkened. You can kind of see little unsaponified fats in it and they're not really the dark dark brown that I think would be prettier. They're still pretty soaps. They smell wonderful. Um, but they're not the best it could be. So in this soap I'm adding the cocoa and that's I hope to give it a more uniform look. I've seen other people mention that they'll add, add either cocoa or brown oxide even though they know the soap is going to darken to a dark brown um, just kind of help it along on the way there. So I've got my oil and my lye water ready. I'm going to be adding some embeds from some other soaps. What I've done is cut them up in little cubes. My lye water had a temperature of 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and then the oils had a temperature of 74 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll see that in a moment there. So I'm soaping quite cold today. So I'm gonna turn on some music and I hope you enjoy. Well, I'm back for the cutting. It's only one day later. I'm finding lately that my soaps are setting up faster than they used to. It might be the change in the season. Um, the furnace is on less often, so maybe the air is um, just a different 
humidity and temperature. So there I've cut off the end. So this has a bit of a, I just wanted to give people an impression of sugar cubes and caramels and cookies. Um, I think if, if I were to sell these, I might call them sugar sugar or sugar soap. I'm, I'm not sure. I think these will probably be gifts. I really just wanted to use up those samples and test the fragrance. It's, it smells very good. It's to me, this fragrance, Hello Sugar, uh, really, uh, it's not overpowering powering sweet. It's not too much bakery. I thought it was just a nice, nice sugar, just like it's described, caramel notes and a sugary smell. So it's very nice. I ordered it in a, a batch of samples from Sapphire Blue soap supplies or you can order many different types of fragrance oils uh, just small samples so i'm just using the knife today i want them each to be about one inch and i'm just going to do my best to cut straight i have i ended up i believe with 12 bars here so here i find it's best you get even pressure just have some confidence in yourself and cut straight down. I'm doing much better than I did when I first started cutting soap before I had my miter box. Um, I was doing so poorly, with such crooked, crooked cuts that I, at that point, uh, invested in the miter box. But now I've got more practice, so I can use either method now and feel good about it. So I'm happy with my, I think this is cute, my embeds. I just chose the colors of the rainbow um, from some old soaps. Blue, green, red, purple, yellow, bit of pink. And I wanted each soap to have a little bit of each color in there. And I did want them just on the top like that. Because this, to me, you might think of them as like marshmallows floating on a hot chocolate or... Um, decorations in some baking, something like that. So just cutting off the end. Remember, I'm using, I'm still using that drawer organizer and it has tapered ends on, both on the end and the sides. So I just straighten off the ends there first. I'm using an old bar of soap to gauge the next cut so cleaning off my knife between each cut as well i find that helps keep i keep using paper towels to keep the knife clean and dry pull it through straight and there you go it smells like a caramel it's very nice So these bars don't change too much from uh, bar to bar. They worked out exactly the way I wanted them to. Just uh, used my inspiration of those, that sh that image I've shown you of the sugar cookies. Just the colors and a sh sugary look to the squares. So I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna speed this up and play some music for you. And I uh, hope that you have a good week and take care of yourself, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. My next video will be a posting of my next Castile soap. I made it the same day as the water-based Castile soap, but I haven't posted the video yet. It is a milk-based Castile soap. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, everyone.